Let's uh, welcome uh, uh, Pankaj Matpal, MD, Opna Money Managers, uh, who will be answering our uh, viewer queries today and will be doing their life financial planning on the show. Pankaj, good evening and welcome to the show. Uh, before I pick up our viewers' uh, question, let me just uh, flash our WhatsApp number and email ID where viewers can actually send across their financial portfolio details so that uh, uh, we can do the life financial planning on the show. So anything related to any specific goal or any specific financial instrument uh, that you want an expert advice from uh, you can send across your questions on our whatsapp number which is 8657974571 we also have an email id the money show at etnow.tv where you can send across uh, your questions and get uh, the, the life strategies and forget your life financial planning done on the show as well all right uh, pankaj let's begin and let's uh, begin with kartika's question uh, she has sent across her portfolio details uh, which has uh, uh, Quant Flexi Cap, Motilal Lamit Cap, PPFS Flexi Cap, Edelweiss Small Cap. Total SIP that she is doing uh, is almost a 40,000 and she will do a 7% step up uh, uh, and uh, for next 15 years is what she is planning to uh, uh, hold on to in this investment. And uh, she's been investing since 2019 and uh, she has uh, the portfolio value is somewhere around 13 lakh. In in last uh, five years, Kritika has been able to accumulate around uh, 13 lakhs and with 40,000 rupees per month SIP along with that, if I calculate at 12% uh, uh, CAGR and also she had mentioned that uh, she will increase her investment by 7% year after year. So uh, she can expect around 3.48 crore in 15 years from now. So uh, uh, Miss. Uh, Choice of scheme is good and uh, good planning she has done. Only one thing is missing. She does not have an international fund in her portfolio, though through Prag Parik Flexi Cap Fund, she gets exposure to international equity. But if she wants to add one fund, that can be one international fund. ICC Provincial uh, NASDAQ 100 fund can be considered. But otherwise, uh, the choice of fund is good. All right, so just one international uh, fund addition that's been recommended and otherwise the fund mix is clearly good. She has two flexi cap, Ankaj. Both are largely large cap oriented flexi cap. Is that okay? Yeah, that's right. She has two funds, but because uh, she has been investing for long term, so I have not asked her to stop it. She can continue. And if you see the portfolio of these two uh, funds, there is a uh, much difference in both the portfolios. So based on that, means my recommendation that she can consider uh, uh, staying invested. Also, we don't know what's actually the corpus that she wants to accumulate, you know. So um, uh, the investment period is for 20 years and she'll be doing a step up of 7% for next 15 years. All this sounds really good, but then we don't have that one particular ballpark figure that's needed uh, that she wants to accumulate. So, so far, so good. Kritika, if you need more guidance, uh, you know where to send across your question. Uh, Pankaj, let's move on and let's take Sanjeev's question. He's investing 75,000 and a couple of funds. Uh, he's doing an SIP in ICICI Pro Blue Chip, uh, ICICI Large and Mid Cap. He's got a Nippon Multi Cap and he also has a Nippon Small Cap. And uh, uh, he's been investing, uh, he wants to invest for more 10 years and uh, the expected accumulation corpus is somewhere around 2.5 crores is what uh, he's kept as a target for himself. Uh, uh, the categories are fine, but then do you think he can diversify in terms of AMCs? Exactly, that is uh, one thing one should definitely consider because uh, when you invest uh, in different AMCs, then you get uh, benefit of uh, multiple fund managers' expertise. So that can be a good idea. Uh, second thing, as far as target is concerned, if I calculate at 12% CAGR, in 10 years, he can expect around 1 crore 68 lakhs. So he'll have to increase his investment uh, uh, year after year. That is also required. Second thing, as you mentioned about the uh, uh, AMCs, different fund houses, uh, within the fund also I will uh, mention here that because Sanjeev has investment in mid cap and small cap uh, separately, so uh, instead of this multi cap fund, like he has Nippon uh, India multi cap fund, uh, he can switch to flexi cap fund, whether either it can be Nippon India flexi cap fund or as you mentioned that uh, different fund a uh, house can be considered in that case ICIC Provincial Flexi Cap Fund or Kotak uh, 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 Flexi Cap Fund can be a choice. Uh, otherwise, uh, fund mix is good. Again, in this question also, uh, what I see that uh, 
international fund is missing. So ICS provincial NASDAQ 100 fund can be considered if international exposure uh, he wants to add to his portfolio. All right. Uh, so that's a couple of changes uh, that Sanjeev might want to do in his portfolio. And uh, 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 the amount that he can accumulate at 12% CAGR as per Pankaj uh, could be 1.68. So uh, definitely he needs to step up uh, his uh, SIP or his investment. Let's move on and let's take Ambuj Rai's question, Pankaj. Uh, uh, so the purpose for which uh, he's made an investment portfolio is for his two children's education and he wants to accumulate a good retirement corpus. Recently started investing in mutual funds, uh, 9,000 per month for next 15 years. He's got Aditya Birla Sun Life uh, PSU Equity Fund and he's got Nippon India Small Cap. Uh, he's also got UTI, Nifty, Next 50 Index, Quant Small Cap, Mutla Loswal Mid Cap, Quant Mid Cap, Quant Infra, SPI, uh, PSU Direct Fund. And uh, he's got one more question that is for his father. He's 63 years old and wants to do an SIP of 10,000 in mutual funds for next 10 years. And uh, non risky and stable returns is what he's uh, aiming for his father. Um, all right. We don't have the clarity in terms of the amount uh, that he needs to accumulate for uh, children's education goal or even for his retirement. So let's divide his uh, portfolio for these two goals. And uh, 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 talking about children's education, I'm assuming that comes before his retirement or can also coincide with his retirement. Uh, how can one plan for it? Kavita, uh, many times we see that investors uh, um, invest in the funds which have performed very well in the recent time and this is known as recency bias. In this question also if you see uh, he has invested mostly in small cap funds and uh, some thematic funds because we know that small cap or PSU theme has uh, outperformed the broader market but this is not the good strategy. When uh, Ambuz is planning for long term investment uh, my suggestion would be that he should consider uh, diversified funds and he has many funds in his portfolio. So what I'll suggest that he should keep some of these funds. And uh, my recommendation would be ICC Provincial Blue Chip Fund, where he can invest 2,500 per month. UTI Nifty Next 50 Index Fund, he already has in his portfolio. And uh, he can allocate 2,500 per month. Mutila Oswal Mid Cap Fund, 2,500. And Nippon India Small Cap Fund, 1,500. Three out of four funds which I have recommended, he already has in his portfolio and one additional ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund I have recommended and uh, other funds, uh, he can stop his SIP in those funds. For long term, this will be a better portfolio. And uh, in addition to this, for his father, he wants to invest uh, 10,000 rupees. Uh, I'll suggest because age of, of his father is 63 years, uh, considering that fact, uh, ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund, which is a large cap fund, can be a good choice. Along with that, SDFC Balance Advantage Fund, which is a hybrid fund, can be considered. So two funds I'm recommending. In these funds, uh, his father can start SIP. All right, so that's the solution for Ambuj. A bit of clarity uh, would be good for him. If at all, he can park that figure for his child education and uh, for his retirement. But uh, at least Pankaj has guided you, uh, you know, in aligning that particular goal for yourself. Pankaj, let's move on uh, to Abhay Singh's question. And um, he wants to do a lump sum investment in mutual fund. The time frame is six to seven years. And uh, 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 he is not able to time uh, uh, the investment looking at the market momentum. And uh, he already has some uh, regular SIPs going on. So he wants to do a lump sum investment in uh, a large cap, which according to him should be 60% of his investment, 25% in mid cap, 15% in small cap. And he also wants to know if one can invest in equity savings mutual fund now and then put that uh, lump sum money whenever there is a correction you know, in the next two to three years or uh, uh, should he just begin his investment right now? Uh, so I don't have his portfolio details, the SIP details. Um, we don't know what kind of funds are those. But uh, here, let's give him a plan for his lump sum investment, which is for six to seven years. Pankaj. Kavita, see, uh, as you mentioned, 60% allocation in large cap, 25% in mid cap and 15% in small cap. So that is correct. He can definitely 
uh, divide his uh, total amount uh, according to this. But uh, as he has mentioned that he wants to invest in equity savings fund and from there, uh, whenever market corrects, then he would invest in uh, these categories of fund like large cap, mid cap and small cap. That can be a good choice, but it is very difficult to time the market. And uh, there may be exit load applicable as well as uh, uh, short term capital gains will also be applicable if he wants to do this. Um, though equity savings fund are less volatile compared to uh, pure equity funds because they mostly invest in arbitrage, some part may go in equity and minimum 10% has to be in debt. So he can consider this, but uh, may not be the very good choice. What I suggest that he can invest some part of this portfolio, maybe 25% right away in large cap funds because his uh, horizon is six to seven years and 25% can be allocated in dynamic asset allocation funds. Balance 50%, he can invest in arbitrage fund. From arbitrage fund, he can start uh, investing in this mid cap and small cap because large cap, we are already investing in investing through uh, uh, lump sum. And uh, mid cap, small cap and some part in large cap can be invested from this uh, uh, arbitrage through STP route or as he mentioned, whenever market corrects and he expects, he, he feels that that is the right time then he can invest. So that can be a better, slightly better choice, according to me. All right. So that's the uh, portfolio help coming in for uh, Abhay. Thank you so much, Pankaj, for being on the show today and helping our viewers with their financial portfolio queries. And time to uh, sign off, but I'm going to leave our viewers with our WhatsApp number and email ID, where you can send across your questions and get your live financial plan done on the show via experts. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.